You know what, get in my lane, just give me the time and give me the place Taking the name and no one can stop me I ain't afraid, I'm going in Rocky And it's a shame they all want to copy But ain't no way to know the copy Part 3 What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby And welcome to Hell Week! Attempting to stay one week at the official Conjuring house. The one that started the entire Conjuring franchise. Today is day four and the past three nights have been some of the most mind-blowing things we've ever captured. Honestly, some of the scariest nights we've ever experienced. We know it's only gonna get crazier because tonight, for the first time, we're going to the basement. It might seem happy, but I genuinely do not know how we're gonna survive the rest of the week. Especially because our sleeping locations are gonna get scarier and scarier. Today we have two very special guests, Larry and Bella! Yeah! We should be excited for this, we're at the Conjuring House. Yeah, I was gonna say, are you excited about this? I am, but I'm a little nervous. Me too. Have you guys ever had like a paranormal experience? Yeah. Um, yeah. When I was a kid, I guess I used to have like friends, and I would play hide and seek with them. But that was when I was like two. Wait, like imaginary three. friends that you talk about? Yeah, like people are like, go. Go. And my grandma told me. I <laughs> are. Isn't that? I was like hide and seek by myself. That's what so many scary movies are based on. It's like that exact thing. So oh my god. god. I felt like she didn't say she was talking to ghosts at a young age. That's like that's normal here, right? <laughs> uh, okay. What about you? Have you ever had a paranormal experience? I'm black. We have yet to go into the basement. Yeah. There's a couple of games we want to do. And yeah, we want to invite you guys to Sam, this is so dangerous. I don't want you to get hurt, though. <laughs> yes, you. Oh, Specifically. I feel like Kobe's fine. I feel like Yeah! Yeah! yeah. I'm the one that's going to get hurt. You're fragile. Are you a Pisces? Yeah. Are you actually? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was just getting ready for the video. How much do you believe in the paranormal? Uh, I'd say a seven. I'm going to say a one. Really? Whoa. Yeah, because the way I like to think is if I don't believe it, you know, it's not there. So you're lying. I'm like, yeah, gaslighting myself. myself. <laughs> that's what you got to do with your problems too. Oh, I don't got taxes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's um, summon, Let's summon some, some demons. demons. Shoppingsport.com. Let's go. This house inspired the Conjuring franchise with a seance performed in 1974 by two world-famous demonologists, Ed and Lorraine Warren. This was because for years, the Perrin family was being tormented by spirits, ultimately leading up to Carolyn Perrin in this seance, levitating and being thrown across the room. These hauntings actually started centuries ago with the King Philip's War, aka the bloodiest battle per capita ever fought on US soil. Meaning, yes, there are soldier spirits who we've captured time and time again being at this house. Everywhere. And now the most active spirit is Abigail Arnold, who used to live here when this was called the Old Arnold Estate. She's known to be a super nice spirit and even serves as a protector and the matriarch of the house. Not another day at this house. Is yeah, that you hiding good. behind Bella? I'm scared. I don't do well with ghosts. Here we go. I've seen that ghost before. Stop playing, bitch. Isn't like a cabbage patch kid? <laughs> no. Raggedy Ann doll? That doll right there? Annabelle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Have you guys seen that doll? You Girl, I've seen her. her. That's Ice Spice. That's Ice Spice. No. Hey! Oh my god, keep it a stack. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Bella, call the fucking Uber. We gotta go. We gotta go. Where are you Don't going? tell me this is where she flew through. That door opened last night. The one you, you're walking through right now? Oh. Open. The one that I'm walking away from right <laughs> The seance that the Conjuring movies are based on was right here. So she levitated and got tossed into that room and almost died from head trauma. So why the fuck right are we here? here? Oh, why are we here? It's <laughs> like, a great first room to like hang out in, right? Yes. I can feel some energy. Ooh, okay. It says we should get on the next flight back to LA right now. Oh, shit! Yeah, I think like, it is. This is a lot to process. The fact that she's in here, the Ouija boards. Bella's a little scared. I can Yeah, I'm quiet. Come here. Is what I feel. Yeah, I got Aww. So the first time we were here, we were looking right through this door frame, okay. and right by this chair, there was a little kid shadow figure that our friends saw. Even like the last three days, we've been getting contact with the child spirits. Very bizarre. Children? Like children. That's a little creepy. That's a little weird. A little creepy. So again, you know, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 so 
Oh no, you got this, dude. <laughs> Wait, all the way? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? There's dolls over there. There is, there's multiple. Go, Bella. You can do this. <laughs> oh my god, this is creepy. That doll is like staring at my soul. It really is. So this is Cindy's room, and this is known, besides the basement, as the most haunted location of the entire house. It's very accurate. I can't feel it. I, I don't know. You can feel it? Do you yeah. feel different in this room than yeah, other places? I feel so this was where we weird. captured one of the craziest things on our thermal camera we've ever seen. We got a little boy's face peering like into the house from that window. Last night, this is where our friend was like talking to somebody that didn't want to walk through the door. And he also got touched. His t-shirt got pulled back. So what's next? <laughs> we gotta continue on. This way. I gotta go through the room and y'all just said it's the most haunted place. Oh, now. you got this. Yeah, hold hands. Okay. Hey, yeah, let's just go through the room. That's this super demonic. So Why don't we do that? The first day when I was here, a bunch like Whoa. What, what, what? what? <laughs> What? what? This? No, I'm, yeah, it was just like, it was trip. Oh, oh, don't ever touch my friend again. This is Andrea Perrin's room. We actually interviewed her. She's one of the kids that witnessed the seance 50 years ago. Things move all the time. Toys would move. Literally the first day I was here, two or three of these things like flew off. But that room's the creepiest over there. It's called the birthing room. Who wants to go? Kobe, I think every room is the creepiest room in this house. <laughs> you said that every room we walked yeah, in. Right? Yeah, all right. it's your turn. No. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Yeah. I'm going in there. Oh my god. Shut the door. <laughs> Bella, I will get you by your ponytail. Do it. Watch it. I'm not gonna shut it's it. It's so hot in here. Is that normal? No, it's, it shouldn't be hot at all. It's dumb plan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, shit. Sure. Yeah, let's go. You got this. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the first time we came in here, there was a bunch of sand. Kid you not, we asked all the staff members, and we even confirmed it two nights ago. Our friend Amanda's name was written in the sand. Yeah. Because they wanted to call her back because she was a medium. Why would y'all bring me here? <laughs> this is like the <laughs> most demonic spot ever. Me, you got a problem. Uh, y'all want a boxing match? Comment down. But these are all the children's rooms. All the children's rooms, and that one apparently is the most haunted. Things are supposed to happen, and beds are supposed to shake. You wanna try? You go first. You wanna try? <laughs> Come on, let's build a bitch. Who's laying down first? Are you serious? <laughs> are we? What are we doing? Wait, we're actually no, doing like, it. No, not for real. You're we have to sleep in this bed. All right, how about this? You're for fake. Ten, doing ten it. seconds with the lights off. Okay. Okay. Let's yeah, Bella, let's go. Yes. Bitch. So we will count to ten. What if we do it okay. together? I don't want to do. I can't. Alright, go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna go by yourself. That'd be good. Oh, this is comfortable. Mattress firm. Yeah, it's very firm. I like the, I like the firm thing. I like the firm. Yeah. Cool. Don't look. <laughs> Jesus. Oh jeez. Wait, what? Yeah. Why are you tummy down? He's <laughs> like, stop looking at my butt. You're so. I'm sorry. It's the biggest thing on the bed. Just let us know if you feel anything. But we're gonna turn off the light. Ready? I'm gonna count. Oh my god. One. Two. I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> wait, Bella, <laughs> wait, Bella over her eyes, and I did this. <laughs> oh my god! You already gave me a fucking heart attack! Why would you do that? What the fuck? He's like fully possessed. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I thought they were gonna get scared. I knew you were gonna get scared. I'm sorry. Why the fuck would you have to run away from us? Oh, uh, we didn't. I'm calling my lawyer. It was just a joke. When I was like laying there and you were like busy, you know, doing... Busy. <laughs> it just felt like something was... Moving right there. Wait, actually? Yeah. Like right in that corner? That's where Josh literally And the first time I did this, like two years ago, that's also where I felt something. In that door. Okay, I'm not even kidding. I just felt it's gonna sound like I'm being picked pick me, but I literally just was like smacking my arm because I felt something. I'm being serious though. So this is where we have to sleep every night, guys. We actually have chickened out every single night thus far, and so tonight... Well, we slept. Come on, we slept in the kitchen Wait, Guys, I don't think y'all should sleep in here tonight, though. Come on now, this is the most haunted place. I felt something. The dolls. Actually, come on. Yeah, we're just gonna... Yeah. Kobe. Oh, what if, oh, Kobe. What if they turn around? What? Oh my god, we come back up here later and they turn yeah. back around? Or is that disrespectful? Are they gonna Is that disrespectful? Is that disrespectful? We should respect. Yeah. We're, we're gonna respect. Hey, 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 it's like, okay. Hey, hey, hey. This is the basement. What happened to us last two times we've been down to the basement? We got locked. It's a janky door handle, but I probably. Should we open it real quick? And just oh it my god. Why would you take me into a locked basement like that? 
Wait, that was super duper dramatic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't do we that. Have to. We waited for you guys. But like, you just said you get locked in the basement. Yeah, yeah, twice. twice. There's another way out, right? I'm down. I don't know. Hey! hey. That was the effort all. I'm Let's go. Too. All right, okay. sick. I think before we start investigating, that we should probably cleanse. Okay. Make sure the tequila and get fucked up first. Oh. <laughs> You see something? No, no you don't didn't. Don't fucking do that. No, you didn't. No, I What'd just see? felt something right there. Wait, no! For real? I don't know. It felt like cold on my right side. Touching you or just by you? Like by me. Like something was like cold, like cold body. Oh my god. And that's why I was like trying to reach for it, like Lorraine, because I was like waiting to see something, but I didn't want I'm to. I'm trying. To I was gonna say, well, we gotta say stage faster, stage faster. You're stage harder to catch on fire. Light like, that shit up, right right yeah. so up real quick. Oh, can we do it real quick? Put it in my butt. Oh, wait, wait. wait. This is the TSA of ghost hunting. I literally hate it. <laughs> Last time I was here, I was standing out there alone, and I saw someone looking at me through the window. Literally, like full on shadow. You could see the shoulder and everything, like staring at me. Do you need a hug? I was crying for four days. I would too. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to your therapist about that. Also, I love your fit today, Kobe. Hey, thank you. Ooh, nice. This is Thanks giving so like, much. where are Some you? More. Where are you? <laughs> My so vibes has changed very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I love like she said. She's like, so really happy. Like, Whoa, that's a little close there, man. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? I was I'm telling you her. how I was feeling. It just <laughs> felt like. It, Wait, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> sorry, sorry, like she's sorry, sticking sorry. in there? It just felt like there was like a cold something. Like when you open the freezer, you know what I mean? And then oh. there's like cold. Air so it was stuff. big. Do you think you might be more like empathic? I don't know. Did you feel that again? You... No, I'm just scared. Okay. I just heard something right there. Give me a okay, I promise. Yeah, we got it. We got it. It's okay. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. This is Bella Porch, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Here's a static electricity detector. We're just gonna throw it over into the library. This literally just Home Depot flashlights. Twist. And turn on. Mm -hmm. Twist okay. and turn off. Finally, we got a tripwire EMF detector so we can see if someone crosses the path or not. And again, yesterday, we heard something in this room and it's. Kobe. Shh. <laughs> Sorry. It's already going off over there. That means something's around it. Oh! And it just left. Oh, God. So something was walking right there and it's probably out. Behind me? Yeah. You got it. Go. I'm gonna put this right in front of the door, so if anything comes into this room, we'll know. If you're in here, <laughs> stay in here, please. <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully, there we go. Yeah, I was waiting for you to say that. I actually love this house. This house is honestly my dream home. The architecture is beautiful. Yes, they love that. Keep going. The architecture is beautiful. This couch, is this couch, man? Oh, it's You said there was a stain on it earlier. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my god, the Ouija board just brings such a divine taste to this house. <laughs> they say build a bitch. Stream build a bitch. Oh, hey. <laughs> You nervous? Yeah, like I feel weak. First two times before we came in. Oh fuck! All of it just went off. Did, did you see that? No, 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 no. You guys didn't see that, did you? Yeah. It just, yes. Everything just boom. The entire room. Yeah. Basically, this is what we're looking out for. You have energy, which is like your phone would have. That's what it was. And that entire thing just lit up. Wait, that's not real. That entire thing. Yeah. Wait, guys, yeah, stop, time. please. Camilla's getting scared. I think we should leave. Oh, oh my god, what is this? What? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's the best thing I've ever seen. That's what that is. <laughs> wow, this is just such a beautiful home. Right? Oh, again, Sam, again. The entire thing. You saw that, right? I saw that. Wait, do it again. I didn't see. If there's anybody here that wants to talk to us, I've been saying that there's some sort of energy out here. Uh, we have a bunch of little pieces of equipment. That one just went off. If there's someone that wants to talk to us, can you go up to any one of these little lights? If you walk past one of these lights, we'll know you're here and you want to talk to us. Or you can go up to one of these flashlights, just tap them or twist them. But if you don't want to do that, you can stay where you are. <laughs> <laughs> there, girl. Oh my god, the entire thing just went off. <gasps> Something's here. Hold on, hold on. This is too much. I don't like this at all. I bet it's Abigail because she's been with us every single day. So Abigail Arnold was part of the Arnold estate, the family Guys. that lived here before the parents. Mm -hmm. So this is like the old family. Abigail, if that is you, if we're talking to Abigail, can you give us a clear and obvious sign? Go up to any one of these lights. Boom! Ooh. Instantly. Thank you so much. 
Abigail's here. Oh, and it turned off. Oh, and this whole kid. Again? Holy <laughs> shit, is that Wait, there's no way. That's what I'm saying. So she's here with Abigail's us. Abigail's a nice spirit. She's been helping us a lot to like warn us about certain things over the last three days. She's a protector spirit. She's like known as the mother of the house. So she's very nice. It's a good thing she's here. Abigail, you ate that one. Wait, I'm actually like shocked that that actually happened. Have you ever seen anything? I've never seen it, but like you were, I swear. Yeah. Right behind you. Yeah, have you guys seen yeah. anything like this no, ever? No, never. Boom, again. Right behind Bella. Oh my gosh. Hey, Abigail girl, <clears throat> if you are a nice spirit, do something. I don't think she fucks me. <laughs> I'm scared. Hi, Abigail. Can you touch a light? Just one? Yeah. Just one? I thought she likes she more she likes us. Yeah, maybe because she already knows you. Oh, no, there we go. Abigail, these are our new friends. We're going to need some help tonight. We're going to be going to the basement. I know that you help people and guide people. So if you're willing to help us tonight, you please give us a clear and obvious sign, please. We just need one more sign. Oh my god! In the turn on. Abigail, are you afraid of what's in the base? And that turned off. Y'all stop playing. This you for real? No, you for fake. There's no way that just happened. You should explain. I don't want to. I don't want to understand it because it's scaring me. I, I'm, we're literally, I don't know. Five Why does she away. want us to go inside the basement? Either. There's the trickster spirit there. Let, let's ask that. If you think it's dangerous for us to go into the basement tonight for any reason, oh my god. please. Oh my god, that literally happened right next to me. That's a yes. So maybe we shouldn't go to the basement? At all. I think we should go somewhere else. Like Target? I think you guys should go in the basement and we watch Abigail. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is me being so real. I'm not, I wish I was joking with you, but I genuinely think you guys should go first and then call us nice clear. Oh my god. She agrees with you. Oh, I hate this idea, but I also agree. Yeah, Abigail agrees. Thank you, girl. Well, thank you so much, Abigail. Boom. Right here? Yeah. Next to us? Dude, she's literally right here. There's 30 of these. I and I just felt something like... On your leg? Touch me twice. And, touch and she twice? was right there? Yeah, and she was right there? like literally, like I thought it was a bug. It just felt like touch. Like, like a human not, touch? Yeah, like fingers. I should have worn you know, this I girl. knew I should have worn She was like, I would have been protected from the ghosts. That's it. Wait, 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 wait. See if that was Abigail. Do you want to ask if that was Abigail? Abigail, was that you that touched me? Make one of these light up again. Oh my god. It is perfect. Okay, at least it's happening. Okay. It is kind of concerning. She doesn't want to school. What? It turned on. It turned on. Concerning about the basement. Concerning about the basement. She made that a very clear sign. She's trying to turn, turn it off. off for us? Thank you. Oh my god, this is not happening. Then what do we do? Like, we've literally avoided the basement for three days because we didn't want We it. can't avoid it any longer. But, like, also at the same time. Oh my god, it just agreed again. But, like, at the same time, like, how is this she's happening? She's literally saying I know. something is dangerous. No, like, being she's thriller. She's literally now. warning us. No, but how is it flashing? I've never seen that a day in my life. That's insane. This is new equipment. I don't, crazy. I don't know exactly how it works other than the energy is passing. I'm just confused. Confused. I mean, I'm in shock. Shocked. I'm scared and kind of excited. <laughs> <laughs> One more confirmation. We we're planning on maybe later going no. to the basement. If you do not think that is a good idea, can you please turn back on one of these lights? Either the flashlights or right here in the library. Literally as you finish your sentence, what if you guys should go? Boom. Wait. The same storyline. Oh my god. Oh my that god. is too much. It's answering That's the same much. thing. That is too much. Maybe y'all shouldn't go to the... I don't want to say anything. I feel like she's going to beat me up. She's, she's, nice. Nice. she's nice. Thank you so much, Abigail. We're going to continue on. Feel free to continue talking with us throughout the night. It's been super helpful. If you're going to watch over us tonight, give us one last sign that you'll be with us and protect us while we go through the house. Boom. Boom. All right. right. Thanks to us. And that's on the Holy Spirit, bitch. Let's Thank go. You. This is my content phone, and like I was taking videos. We're like and blogging. What? Is it all erased? So like I record something. Yeah. It goes right there, but it doesn't save. What? What the fuck? That's like something that happens here is deleted footage. Like yeah. It doesn't like to say they deleted the Warren's footage. All of a sudden, like anything to do with the Conjuring House doesn't work at all. And you have space. I do. Okay. I just check. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now it's it's it sees it's, a preview, and then it's not, not there. Yeah. No way. Oh my god! Wait, yeah. 
it's but there, it but it won't show. show I've never seen that before. I've never seen that either. Guys, comment down below if, if you have any explanation as to why that would happen, besides literally it's haunted, uh, let me know. And your phone is all the way updated and all yes. that stuff, right? Yes. What? It's just weird because literally she's been touched twice and felt the cold air too. Not saying you're getting targeted, but maybe you're okay. more empathic than, you know. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Me, I'm, wait, I'm just being... <laughs> So we have three very different energy happening here in the house. In the top floor, you're going to get the children energy, like Henry Richardson is up there. Here in the middle level, you're gonna get more of like the adult conversations, the John, the Abigail Arnold, and maybe other members of the Arnold family. And in the basement is the trickster energy. They like to play tricks like that. They want to startle you. When you ask who they are, they're going to say Bob, or they're going to say Satan, and they're doing it just to scare you. What do you think their intentions are then? Just to like mess with you. I think downstairs there is a lot of, I don't want to see my games, but I guess a trickster feel. I feel like there's something weird down there for sure. Like it's a different vibe and energy down there. If you really want to experience the vibe in that house, you just need to make that trek downstairs and you'll feel what I'm talking about. The time is now. Are we ready? Scared one to ten? I mean, I'm good. You're good? Yeah, I'm kind of scared, but still excited. I just work here. Okay, but I'm excited. So. This is a thermal um, camera, so who wants, who wants to hold it? I'm gonna try it. All right. I can see you, you look so scary. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. Wait, why do you look so scary? Happy, 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 hey, hey, hey. Bella, this yeah. is an EMF. If this goes off, just run. And scream. No. <laughs> She's like, what? Yeah, to her. <laughs> sorry. Oh I'm sorry. It's kind of like the EMF rope. It just means something is very close to you. And you would give me this. Yeah. You well, would. you're the one that has been touching, switch. so. Switch. Yeah, you guys can switch. I just want. want to make sure I know something. I don't want to see something. Um, it's time to open the door. Are you sure? <laughs> Yo! Should we stop at Taco Bell first? I think we should we should take a break again, right guys? Yeah, yeah I don't think we should do that. We have to go right now. I do, it's true. I do have to pee a lot. Okay, let's go. If we don't go now, I'm not gonna go. Wait. What? I think we should do the seven dead soldier ritual. Do you guys want to do a ritual before I we go to fuck not? No! <laughs> I don't Yeah, we're no. gonna What is this ritual? Black people and ritual don't go in the same category. We are summoning soldiers and they're nice. They're just trapped in the walls of the house. Oh so you're gosh. telling me American soldiers were nice. We always talk to soldiers when we go to the basement, so in order to let them out, what if we can open and close the door seven times before we go downstairs? Do we need to say anything specific? No, let's just, uh... Well, then we already did it twice. We already did it twice, so five more times? Five more times. What if we also just put this here to see if anything comes out? Oh. Okay, guys, this is a rim pod. Basically, something comes up to the antenna. This will make, like, a bunch of, like, beep boops and light up. Open her up. Here we go. One. Oh God. Dude, don't have to slam it. Sorry. Got exist. Two. Three, four, five. Technically, that was seven total. Now we can go down. If there's any soldiers, you want to go touch the slide right here. Feel free. We're going to go downstairs uh, for the first time. Oh my oh god, god, dude. You literally just invited it up. Immediately. How do you explain what? that? <laughs> yeah. What? Right when we open the door, too? Thank you. The soldiers are here. This Literally as you said that! Are you sure? It was as soon as we left the door what? wide open. There's no right. way that's happening right now. There's like actually no way. for three days. And literally Abigail just said, don't go down there for some reason. As soon as we open the door, that happened. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Did you hear that? It's our Uber. Come on, bro. Let's go. Wait, are you actually going down there? I don't think you should. Yeah, actually, like, it's we're, it's we're going down. Yeah, but I still don't think you should. was warning us not to go. I mean, me and Lorraine. Yeah. Well, but point. when you said, what if, Sam, could we just go up? It went, yeah, you can of do it. Of course it did, because there's something that wants you to go down there. As your friend, I'm warning you not to go down there. Because it is, go right with my soul. And that's you being honest with you. 
We've just been We've delayed it. Delay every single day we have. I was more comfortable if we went down there with you guys. All four. Four of us. God knows what can happen. God yeah. knows what's down there. You know? We'll stay close. As soon as something happens that's too scary, we can come right back up. Well, yeah, I think me and Bella should be in the middle, and you two should be in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just in case, because like you know, I'm really pretty and fragile. Yeah, me yeah. too. And I get crazy. <laughs> So, who do you want to lead? Kobe. You guys ready? You just try this on the ball. Let's go, on, buddy. Get down there. Down to the basement we go. First oh time. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I think you should run for me because you have that weird device. Ooh. What, 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 what? Yeah, I don't want to say anything to freak anybody. I thought I just heard something move. Nothing is down there. Absolutely nothing is down there. We've been waiting for four days for this. It smells like ass. Well, bad smelling things is a sign of spirits. Oh, the crooked neck. Well, how about we not say her name, Kobe? Okay. Sweetheart. Like, ugh. What the fuck? What was that? My hair. There's spiders. This it's, just it's going off. It's going off. Oh, it's going to be down here. I hate this. We should, down we should not be down here. No, no, no. Every time we come down here, it's just like a full was uncomfort. Was here before? No, no, no. This is brand new. They blocked off something down there. Dude, we haven't been here for two years. I know. It's really colder in here. Yeah. Right when you oh walk in. Gosh. I'm going to leave my George and I found bracelet here. You'll see that tomorrow. Pick it up later. The Crooked Neck Lady. This is a negative apparition that would haunt Carolyn Perrin in her sleep night after night. It got so bad that one night, the entity actually slammed her head into the bed frame. Paralyzed in fear, under her breath, she said, please God help me, and then everything stopped. It is a negative energy, for sure. When she presents sometimes, I don't know if you guys experienced last time, she can present very foul smelling. Have you experienced she that smell? Or, yes, absolutely. This drawing right here. No way. You see it? Yeah. What is that? It's the crooked neck lady. Oh my god. This used to be a daycare and I think kids were drawing what they were seeing. Oh my god. Yeah. Currents and wells create energy. Oh, the original well. That is a, a portal. That's one of the theories that that is a portal. That he literally said that and this flashed. <laughs> There's no way. Okay, yeah. I definitely don't want... I think we should go back upstairs. You don't want to is... crawl down there, dude? What? Yeah, you got this. Like, go swimming. You could dive down there. I can't it? swim. <laughs> I just felt something. I was not touching you at all. It was, like, right here. I, I, okay, I was not. Me. You know me. <laughs> Over there. Maybe let's take a little tour of the whole basement. Can you come back here? Um, let's do it. Oh no, fuck no. What, We're not what, going what, down what, there. What, what, what? That is just scary as hell. Sam, you oh! <laughs> full red, full red. It's going no! off. Oh, oh, I just was pointing it out. That went straight to red. That went straight to red. So then let's go straight to bed. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Holy fuck. What? You take it. I record you. All right, all right. I record. All right. Where do you want to take this? I'll take this. Wait. God, wait. I'm sorry for screaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, my bad, guys. I just like want to show you just do the old thing. It freaks me out. I'm sorry. If there's anything down here, we come here with respect. We don't mean any harm. We don't mean to scare you. Oh, my fucking God. Guys, do not look for red. Oh, fucking oh God. my God. That scared what? me so bad. Look at this. It's like sit. you sit down and just stare at yourself in a mirror. That was going off. Oh, my God. God we should not be down here. This looks like a Getting ritual. Why are you sitting in front of the mirror and just looking at yourself? Like, what are you doing? Her affirmation. You like, are fucked. Dude, this is going off again. Whoa, whoa. There's just that wait, did you not hear that? Right? That was a big thud upstairs. That, yeah. Just keep walking. Dude, it's going off. How about you keep going? Oh. Since you got your degree, keep walking. See, this is the part where we walk this way, guys. We're almost done. Dude, it's, it's gonna be hard to communicate with just using this. Yeah. I did bring down the Estes stuff. The best way that we know how to communicate back and forth. Oh my god, it's going up to red, dude. I would love to figure out why Abigail says we shouldn't go down here. Like, what is down here? Did you guys hear, like, uh, footsteps over there? Oh my god. Larry, give me your head. I'm scared. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, I'm about to turn it on. Yeah. Let's whisper the questions. Who is here with us? Why are you trying to talk to Bella specifically? No. Do you not want to talk to us? Tell us to leave and we'll leave. If you don't want to talk, we get it. Who is? I'm Sam. I'm Loray. I'm Colby. And this is Bella that you're talking with. Again, we mean no harm. We just want to hear your story. Anna? Somebody named Anna here? <sighs> that just spiked up. Anna, do you have a message for us? I don't. I don't. I don't understand. Wait. 
It's just like a bunch of like sounds. Like I can't really tell. It's hard to like hear specifics. Yeah. Okay, well you said there's somebody named Anna and we said do you want to talk to us and says don't know. Let's keep going. Okay. One more time. What is down here in the basement? People keep saying that we shouldn't come down here. Wait. Famous? Girl. You want a picture? One girl. Oh no my god. What do you want with the one girl? You've been targeting Bella? Is there I'm back. What the fuck? Back. I'm back? What? what? Unless somebody just knew about you. Yeah, that's good. Happens. What, what happens? C. We're trying to see you. Can you show yourself? D. Right. Have we seen you before? D is maybe Dave. You. Dave, possibly? Do you want to keep talking to us? We understand if yeah. you don't. Yeah? Okay. You said I'm back. Who are you? Good. Oh. God, this is a good thing. Maybe it's Abigail. Could it be Abigail? I'm back. Abigail, are you down here? Are you here to protect us? E. C D Insane. C D E, as in like the alphabet? Like she's trying to get us to do this. The alphabet thing. Abigail, we don't have Cody and Satori with us, but we will later. Run. Behind. Okay. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? Wait, honestly, my ears ringing really bad. Wait, really? Wait, 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 you wait. feel something behind you? Run behind. We should not be here. My ears just ring so bad. I just got like a huge cold feeling in my back. Again? When I said behind. Well, then let's go. Like something might be. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's yeah. go back up soon just for a sec. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. You know, this says run behind. Oh, this thing's going off. This said run multiple times. That could have been Abigail warning us, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought we were talking to Abigail right there, and you said, are you trying to protect us? And she literally warned us right there. Run behind. Run behind. That's okay. also what a stalker would do. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, are you good? Yeah. I feel like the spirits have just been, like, yeah. touching me and, like, yeah. making me feel, you know, a certain way. If it's Abigail, though, it might just be that she has a message for you. Oh. Which we're gonna find out with Cody and Satori. Yeah, but it is weird how much not only it's gonna be communicating with you, but also like messing with your phone, yeah. like touching your leg, being behind you multiple times and giving you those cold flashes, you know? Yeah, you'll be okay. Still feel confident? Yeah. Feel they got us. Yeah. We'll face them. Together. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it together. Okay. We're not making anybody go home with you, for sure. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh my god. I hope, not. I hope it's at least Abigail. We've just been sitting inside over here. Colby! Did you reset this? It just came on. Really? I didn't even touch it. I don't even want to go out there anymore. Cody and I found, for some reason, when we first met, when we touch hands or arms or something, connect in some way, it enables everybody to hear spirits in the room. We didn't really know what it was at first. It just sounded like a bunch of stomping and banging noises. But then we started to figure out over time that it was people that we were able to communicate with. I think when certain living energies meet, you kind of bond together well. And in this case, it kind of makes the light a little brighter to draw spirit in. And you'll hear them walk in from the room. We never communicated with anything we think is inhuman or anything like that. We don't want to talk to people. We believe that there are some very grumpy people and some very nice people. So we've talked to a variety of those. So everybody knows there's nothing in my shoes or in my pockets or anything. Feel free to try to debunk this as hard as you can. Here we go, guys. So it's going to take a second, but if anybody's here, I am standing in Christine and Nancy's room above the dining room. So I'm standing here waiting. You can come towards me. And when you're right in front of me, I'm going to ask you to stomp your feet or hit something, okay? Can you do that maybe, let's say, three times to let me know you understand me? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I <laughs> know excitement. I know you love talking. So one for yes, two for no. Of that same noise, okay? Can I get a yes knock? Thank you. Have we talked to you before? All right. I'm gonna go through the alphabet. When I get to the first letter of your name, you're gonna knock. When I restart, I'm gonna get to the second letter of your name. You're gonna knock again, and I'll keep restarting until I spell it out. Okay? Okay. A, B. C, A, A, B, Abigail. She's there. 
Abigail Arnold, thank you so much. Okay, you're trying to spell? Okay, you're going to start for the first word, okay? A, B, B. Try to stand right over here so we can hear you really well. Come on over, thank you. A, B, C, D, E, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, D, E, L. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, A, Bella. Okay, what about? She's been talking with Bella directly almost all night. She wants a message. We said that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, word I, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, O, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, U, A, B, C, Touched? Touched. You touched, Bella? No fucking Where? A, B, C, T, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, Leg. You touched her leg to try to tell her you were there? Yeah. A B C D E F G H I J K L A A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R L A R R A B C D E F G H I J K L Okay. P C D E F G H I. Larry, that is crazy. How do you know my name? Oh, I signed it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me be like. Oh my goodness. Are you talking about? Okay. Hi, girl. Hey. No. <laughs> this is crazy. A P C D E F F A K. A B C D E F G H I J K L M Family A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W A P A A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T Washing Hmm Washing No a B C D E F G H I S A B C D E Washed Family washed A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U P Over a P C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U P W A B C D E F G H A B C D E F G H I W H I A B C D E F G H I J K L W H I L while A B C D D A A A B C D Dad a B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W A was A B C D E F G A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O A B C D E F G H I J K L M N gone. Can we watch the dad this one? No, that that's crazy. Yeah, my dad wasn't even, he was just in jail. He yes. just got out recently. Family was watching over, make sure everything was okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's my wow. God. My dad got into a car accident when he was on my birthday. Oh, no. Which is crazy. Oh, and I just went out of bed yesterday. That's so crazy. So yeah. there's absolutely kind of no way they could have done that. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you for letting him know. I'm sure he appreciates that. Oh, my God. 
Wait. Like, what do you think about this? I'm like in awe. I can't even speak. I was, you know, I was being respectful and I was listening and obviously was seeing it firsthand is like way more insane. Yeah. And I feel like it's way more beautiful than I expected it to be. It is. It's a beautiful thing for sure. And you get good at the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> for her. Can I show them something real quick? Can you stomp your feet like we practice? I don't know why it works, but it does appear. Can we ask her one thing? Yeah. If she has a message for anybody up here on Earth in the physical form, what would it be? If you could reach a million people, what would you say? A-B-C-D-E-F-G-H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V-W-A-B-C-D-E-We-A-B-R-A-B-C-D-E-F-G-H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-A-B-C
it's gone. Is <laughs> there a connection? <laughs> no! <laughs> no. <laughs> this is crazy! Would you like to try? Yeah. <laughs> All right. so can I can I lift your sleeve a little bit? Just so okay. The wrists work the best for some. They do. Can I hold you too? Sure. If you want to. This is insane. Oh, this is absolutely. Can you walk around, please? Can you walk next to her? Can you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I said the same thing. I know. <laughs> can you just like keep walking around a little bit? But watch. As soon as I. Isn't that weird? Have, have you ever asked why you guys? I don't know. They haven't really told us. A lot of people have theorized. I mean, I was sick for a while. I died once. A lot of people think that what? has to do with it. Um, yeah, you died from complications of cancer. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they got me back. I, I really think it's living energy when they meet. I, I really think yeah. certain people, you feel really good when you're around a certain person, like a best friend or something. And I think when you work with that person a lot, I mean, everyone's paying attention to the equipment these days right now. And yeah. You ask for a knock once in a while, then you hear it, and then that's the end of it. You know, keep going with that so i think that's what people need to pay more attention to we've known since 2018 we could do this but we kept it a secret until 2021 up until like last year mostly because we were afraid like people are going to be absolutely terrified of us and we also didn't want to be those people like we don't want to make money off this we don't want to like exploit it as much as we can so it's just kind of like we're here doing it for whoever you know is meant to have it wow. obviously abigail likes you guys so she yeah. yeah. so she knew you were coming before we knew, so. Yeah, how, how is that? Could have overheard it. She could have just known. Sometimes I think time works a bit differently over there. Maybe she knew ahead of time. Do you guys know if they can travel wherever they want to at any time? She has come yeah, and gone. Absolutely. Yes. They said that they've gone to different places. I mean, she said she's not stuck here. You know, she's just okay. here because she loves being here. I mean, she had 14 kids, so I'm sure she visits them at but their she places. Also, sees the house like it's still her time period from time to time. Like okay. sometimes she'll just come through and like watch out for my candles. And I'm like I don't see a candle, but she does, so it's almost like she's still wherever, so. Time's different. I don't know. Is there anything that you guys specifically have learned from this method over the last years that you would want to tell an audience? Well, what can we tell? <laughs> they, always, they always describe wherever they are as, as a good place. Live life to the fullest. When your time comes, it'll be, you know, you'll be ready for that. I mean, you said the place that she's in is a good, do they know if there is a bad place? Yeah. That's a good question. That's a really good question. I don't know if we've outright asked that. Yeah, just kind of, you yeah. could just say that for the next episode. <laughs> 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 also, they don't only talk in haunted houses, they talk everywhere. We've talked to them outside, we've talked to them in haunted houses, we've talked to them in grocery stores, we've talked to them everywhere. So they're they're all around. Thank you guys again so much. Thank you guys no so much. If you want to see it anymore, just Seriously. let us know, okay? Yeah. And if you guys want to see any, like their shoes or anything, or any way to like debunk things, like it's the chance we could do it. So we get to take them off. <laughs> I have no questions. I'm not going to question anything, but that was just beautiful. Yeah, thank I want to so like, hug you guys, but I feel like that's just like invasive. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, you sure? I love you. I love you. Yeah. Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> it's crazy. <That's> cool. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like changed my perspective on a lot of things. Yeah. Thank you. That's really, we really like to hear that. One thing to see it on video, you know, to experience it in person is a totally, it's so crazy. totally different thing. To find out that your loved ones are always watching over you is. Yeah. is Totally life changing. Yes. Yeah. Really for us. And everything happens for a reason. We've learned that. Mm -hmm. uh, for sure. Like, if you forget your keys at home, maybe you were about to get in a car accident and that's why you turned around and, and went back home or something like that. Or, you know, got your phone at home or mm -hmm. something, you know? Any other questions? Do you want to see it anywhere else? It's up to you. Maybe we take a few minutes. Yeah, take a little deeper. I feel to see it in the basement. Yeah. If you guys want to. Yeah. To this last one? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That is the reason why we do this. That is gonna give millions of people hope. If they can't tell from our reactions, from bringing new guests here, you're doing it all around the house. I don't know. I don't know what else we can do. The paranormal is one thing, but to get in contact with a relative or someone you personally know and have them say, we're okay. And there's still so many more beautiful questions to be asked. And I don't think we're meant to know everything. It wasn't specific. Just general love. Just love. 
there's just gonna be a lot of people out there that's like that's corny I'm like guys that is like the sole purpose of life is to spread positivity and love no matter what you believe in no matter what religion you are you can watch these videos put it to any of your belief system and it all still makes sense you need to live this life to the fullest and love others as much as you possibly can that's what it's all about that's hope. That's hope right there. You know, we came to Conjuring two years ago thinking this place was evil. But I felt like this is probably one of the most special, most loving places I've ever been in my life. Besides the basement, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I just like, there's no way to describe like how seeing this in person, too, is just incredibly like 10 times different than probably watching it on video. There's no way we can 100% prove it to you guys. But for those of you guys that have been watching this for a long time, this is the reason why we do it. This is the message we want to spread. This is obviously the message the afterlife wants to spread. So I hope this gives you hope because this isn't it. There's something more out there. This is I love you guys. Love you guys so much. That's why we do it. Passing the night. We have done this now in pretty much every single room except for the basement. So let's go to the basement. Yay! <laughs> the yeah. Possibly most um, <clears throat> unsettling place of the house. You, you said there's some uh, strange things down there. We've gotten some strange results down there. You know, people not wanting to talk to us. One night, I had a spirit come through to us and just was like, "Hey, come out to the woods." So oh, I was like, I'm not oh. doing that. Yeah. So like, we get weird things down there sometimes. Tricky spirits. I Tricky think, spirits. Yeah. Tricky. I think. Come out to the woods. Yes. No, man. <laughs> that's kind of what they told us like two nights ago. Yeah, that's exactly what they told us. Actually. I don't like the woods at night, so. Yeah, it was not very was comfortable. Yeah, that's creepy. Want to do the honors? Will you go first? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. There's some character development. I'm in the well room. Hi. Ooh, you're loud. Can you come over here? Can you? You just want to stay over here? Okay. One for yes, two for no of that same noise, okay? Have we talked to you before? Do you want to answer questions? Okay. Oh. What do we do now? <laughs> is there somebody else? Yeah, is there someone we can talk to down here? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. It's our friend. What? The woods. What about the woods? Can you tell me about them? Every time we're down here, you talk about them. Can you tell me why the woods? Okay, why? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, A, B, C, I'm hitting the wall. A, B, C, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, come. More? You just want us to come to the woods. No, oh day. my god, dude. I'm gonna jump. What would happen if Colby and I went to the woods? A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. <laughs> Find out? That's fucking no fucking way. We might just stay here, actually. And I might just leave now. <laughs> Are you just? I think you're you're being a bit of a trickster. I think you you want to scare people a little bit, just a tiny bit. No comment. No comment. Where's Abigail? Abigail. Abigail Arnold. Abigail. Yes. Hi. I feel so safe. <laughs> you make everybody feel so safe. You know that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, A, A, 
R E A A B C D E F G H I J K L L more A B C D E F G H I A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Y Realize is that what she was saying realize a hundred times last night? The woods. Yeah. What do we need to realize about the woods? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, C, U, V, W, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P, Q, R, A, more? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Real warning. Mm-hmm. She's giving us a real warning not to go in the woods. So you guys got that last night. We got that last night. Yeah, on the spirit box it said realize multiple times. We say realize what? what the dangerous. That? I just heard like a whisper or something in my ear, like right over here. I was like, you get loud. It sounded like a like really loud something. Somebody's down here. Can you say something as loud as possible? Hello? Are you someone new? Someone different? Abigail? Woods guy? <laughs> You're gonna go by Woods guy now? Okay. You like Woods guy? You gave him a nickname. I just never called him anything. Woods so. guy. Why do you want to scrub this so bad? This is really loud. A, B, C, C? Are you telling us to just come see it? Mm. I don't trust you. I'm good. What, where? Any more specific? A, B, B, bridge. bridge. On the bridge? On the bridge? Under the bridge. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O. Oh, I gotta go over the bridge at night, and that's one of the reasons why. I'm good. We slept there two nights ago. Were you with us in the woods that night? Were you the one that said you're trying to attack? Someone said that they were trying to attack, and then someone said they were trying to stalk us. Could have been the same person. Probably. Knowing what's guy over here. Did you walk away? You just like walk that way or something. Oh fuck! Well, we slept there three nights ago. Are we safe? Let's though? not sleep there again. Yeah. Yeah. Are we slept there? It sounds like somebody's just trying to scare. Us. Yeah. It seems like somebody likes to watch you in the woods, though. Someone did say my intention is to attack, yeah. stalk, and I got a bad feeling. And we stayed over anyway. And Abigail's trying to warn us about something. She is. There's something to be warned about. The spirits in the house have said multiple times that they don't go outside at night. Like, they don't like the spirits outside as much. Like, they just be cautious, be, you know, like, it's a completely different ballgame is what they're they're getting at. I trust Abigail a lot more than I trust my own senses, so I don't go out there at night. I think we should trust Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to get home? I don't go down to the bottom field personally, like, past the, the bridge. Back, it's the back of the house. Right? Yeah. It's the woods, like deep into the woods. That's where it gets different. Um, that's fucking terrifying. Yeah, we're not doing that. But there's a lot of different kinds of spirits out there. We've had like drumming from the forest, all sorts of things. I mean, if you subscribe to the theory of elementals and earth spirits. You know, there's Native American spirits because this would have been their land obviously first. Mm-hmm. So that would have been very important. There's a lot of different spirits out there. And you've gotten this woods guy multiple times? Three times now. Yeah. I don't come down here very much and talk because usually if Abigail's down here, she's not down here very long. And sometimes she tells us like, maybe we should go back upstairs so we can have a conversation. We talked down here and somebody wants you 
to go to the woods by herself. Didn't want anybody else to go with her. And we were like, no, let's that's <laughs> yeah, go by yourself. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. Like, no, we just want her to come along. So you've never gotten a real intention? No, they just say, trust me, come up to the woods. Like, oh, oh no. my I'm good. God. I'm good. I mean, what would happen? What would happen? Yeah. That's so I don't want to find out. He literally <laughs> said, find out. Scale of one to ten now, how much do you believe? Probably a good nine now. Good nine. Yes. All right. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. All right. Well, yeah. there you have it. <laughs> it honestly opened my eyes a lot. And I will say I'm glad that it was with you guys because it was way more comforting. Oh, yeah. I can't stand white people. <laughs> Let's go, bro. <laughs> Goodbye. There they go. Back into our home for a week. I want people to believe that we are actually sleeping here. I think people do. Yes! Like, for real, guys, we're like doing this damn thing. <laughs> Sucks ass. This is crazy. We got a very strict warning not to go into the woods. Some people describe it that it can feel a little bit more sinister. Especially over the bridge, I think that is a different territory for sure. <laughs> Did you do that? I don't like over the bridge. I don't go over the bridge, especially at nighttime. Definitely a lot of tricky things out there, a lot of mischievous things. The spirits of the house, they have told us and they have said the footbridge that goes into the woods. The energy changes at night across the bridge. They know that there's something outside that's completely completely out of there, you know, like it's completely different. I do not go past the bridge. People have had a lot of cool, you know, cool. <laughs> evidence. Flashing in the woods, flashing lights, children giggling. Tapping to knocking to drumming, but the energy does change. One of the first nights we were staying here at the house as caretakers, we woke up at like midnight, early in the morning because we were hearing drumming from a local Native American group. It was described as a pre-war drumming and it was coming up from the back of the house all the motion detections in the front yard, like somebody was coming around the driveway, started going off, and then all of a sudden the power in the house went out. Ever since we first got here, Cody and Satori have been saying, don't go into the woods. The owner, other employees, even Abigail herself has warned us multiple times, be careful, be cautious. However, this is literally a once in a lifetime chance to really understand what all this means. So we waited until it was pretty dark, and we're gonna go into the woods. We wanna contact some soldiers and go to the secret graveyard we did two years ago. This gravesite is about two miles away, and we're alone. Before going to the gravesite, we thought we would go stop where I talked to Dave under the Estes method earlier this week. Since he was a soldier as well, we think that gathering as many soldiers as possible to figure out what's in the woods would be a good idea. We do know that one of the original Arnold family members had a brother named David who did serve, I believe, in the revolution. So again, over the past few days, we've heard the name Dave, specifically super clear on the Alice box in the forest over there when we camped out, but we were introduced to him right around these graves. So Dave, if you're around or any other soldiers, feel free to follow if you can hear me. We had a long hike. I mean, the last investigation last night, come find out, that's like the scariest thing they could say. That's like the most ominous thing any spirit has ever told us. Here's what scared me. Most of the spirits have these like quiet knocks, but the one downstairs was different. That one was way louder. It had more power, it had more energy, and we were on concrete. Last time we were in the woods, the only things we really heard was that it wanted to attack and stalk us. So who knows, whatever man in the woods that we were talking to last night might be following us right now. Oh God, where'd the path go? So that's where we came from. We just gotta look for- But there's uh, three paths. Pink ribbons, right? Yeah, I think they're supposed to be pink ribbons. There's but a blue ribbon over here. What about down that path? Anything? Can't see anything this way. Wait, let me just check real quick. She said, stay left. Pink? It's like a river up here. Oh, I remember this from two years ago. Yeah, isn't there some sort of like pond or something? It's right there. Oh, 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 yeah. I I just remember going to the side of that. So we just gotta figure. Wait. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. Okay, so you said this way? Well, we just gotta get to the other side of this. That's what I remember. Oh my god, that thing's that loud. Scary. Oh yeah, big ribbon. Pink ribbon. Okay. What the fuck was that, dude? I hear two of your voice. Like in that research section where like it echoed. Hello? I don't know. This is weird. Let's keep going. The 
we are really in the middle of nowhere. We've been walking, guys, for like, what, 10 minutes, maybe 15? 15, yeah, probably. I just checked that we have zero service, too. We are out in the middle of the woods alone. I think I see it. What? I think this is it up here. Oh fuck, dude. What? This this light just died. You're lying. No, it had 35 minutes of battery left. You're Look at this. Lying. Look, it's out of oh, battery. Fuck. Okay, let me film that because nobody's gonna believe that. Right there. Wait, that is actually so strange. Wait, is, is this one charged at least? Yeah, that one's charged. That's the graveyard. I think. And this just died. Footsteps, footsteps. Let's get out there. scared of like what's taking the energy like why did we get lured out here and then what's like wait dude what if both of our lights just go out but there's no way we're gonna be able to get back I know. we should make this quick here it is this is it this was like a lot more overgrown last time we were here damn all the graves guys george george baker what the fuck was that another george footstep baker. footstep footstep dude what the fuck is that See shit. Oh wait, it's this There one. it is. James had a god dang pentagram as if he was getting summoned into the house. I think we captured James two years ago. We did an investigation here, and then we heard him come back to the house with us. Yeah, we invited him. 1865. That's a hundred years before the parents were even here. These people might know what's been in the woods. You know, if they've been here for this long. Okay, so we have the EMF and we brought the Alice box, right? Yeah, last time the Alice box gave us pretty much the direct intentions. James, we came here a couple years ago. I don't know if you recognize us. You came back to the Conjuring House with us. We're really just coming out here to look for some answers. A lot of people are scared of the woods. Oh, fuck. Dude. What? Knife. Knife. Knife? The first word is knife? What's that even mean? Late. Late at night? Do you happen to have any idea who the man from the woods is? He's being very cryptic with the way he was trying to tell us to come out to the woods. Oh, this just spiked up! Violent. Violent. Violent? Whatever was out here in the woods a couple of days ago was trying to attack us. You said violent? Oh. Violent land! What? What? I saw. I just saw something move to the right. Wait, put your flashlight over there. I just... Spell. Spell. The alphabet. That's what they were saying the other day. I mean, that's the only thing that Abigail uses to speak. And that's what we were talking. Levitation. Levitation? Does that mean the thing from the woods was the same thing that caused the levitation of the seance in 1974? I don't know. It's like threatening, violent levitation. Like, I can do that too. Mm. Or it's just, it's, it's mocking the story. Cycle. Oh, fuck. It's like it's gonna happen again. Happen again. Dude, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Alignment. Alignment. Something's about to happen. Levitation. Violent land. I don't like that we only have one flashlight. Fight? Fight. What's that mean? We're gonna have to fight. Dude, it's all like malicious words. The fact that it said levitation and cycle and alignment. Yeah, it's like something's about to happen. Yeah, it's like this is about to be the same thing every few years. So how do we figure out who we're talking to? I think that's the main thing here. How about this? We're not talking to anybody else, just you. What is your intention? Are you trying to help us? Or are you trying to hurt us out here in the woods? Dog. Dog. What is that? What the fuck is that? That sounds like heavy breathing. Dog. Wait, that sounds like, like an instrument or something. That looks like a bass. I don't even know how to describe that. What is that coming? You know? Voices, 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 voices. Wait. I'm turning this off. Fuck. Is that you in the woods? Teacher. Teacher. Teacher is the teacher. What was that? That dude. I don't want to go too fast because like, I actually think somebody's over there. I'm not kidding. 
Dave, Dave, if you want to come back to the conjuring house with us, please follow us right now. We gotta go back. Please. There's people surrounding us. We gotta go. Wait, I don't have a light. We gotta stick together real close. Oh, dude, again, okay, I don't wanna to go too fast. Special. Special. Dave is special? There's probably actually people or something in the woods because we're hearing like weird voices wait, in the wait, 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 wait. I just wanna see if we can hear what's actually out here. Is that a dog? It's a dog. Dogs. We're in the middle of the woods. That makes no sense. We're two miles in the middle of the woods. What was that? It literally sounds like a war horn or something. <laughs> like I said, something fucking about That's not like a car engine. No way. We should probably actually get back. Okay. And our light's like halfway done. Yours is out too. There's tons of dogs around. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Dude, we, we just got back to the house, and it says one star battery. We left and it was full. These things should last like five hours. Something was draining our power out in the woods. Genuinely, like at all of it. I oh, okay, I was like, dude, just die. Something was taking a lot of the energy to follow us back. We invited it back. That could have been a mistake. We'll find out. faster as soon as I look down there. Abigail, hopefully you were following us in the woods, but please, 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 I know you don't like it in the basement. Please follow us down here. We won't be too long. We need your help. Ready? God, I hate this. It's like a mildew smell still. Every time. Wait, this is just us this time. This is the first time we're alone in the basement. Yeah, this is gonna be scary. I don't know if we'll, if we'll use this, but uh, I did go down a couple, a couple days ago just to like, fuck around. I just like, I uh, just came down for like five minutes and sat right there just to see if anything happened. Wait, when? Why'd you do that? Like at night after we're talking about how the basement's like. I'm, I'm saying like, like right when you got here, or like when, when'd you go? Um, I think it was the second night. You'd just gone to sleep. My mind was spinning about just all this crazy shit, and I was like. What if, like, something will really happen? I think I was just kind of in it and looking like, oh my god, this is like changing my life. So I wanted to see if something would happen crazy. No, nothing happened. Again, like, it was just a couple minutes I sat down here. Nothing nearly as crazy as what happened last night. I just thought when we, uh, we first came here last night, and we were just like the first time in the basement. So that was your second time. Yeah, again, nothing, nothing really happened. I just wanted to try. I think I was, I'm just like, this week has been probably the most insane thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. And you know, I'm just all about proving this stuff to myself because I've had a weird past of believing everything. I, I get that, but like, we said we would go to the basement together for the first time. So that's like, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of like just sits a little bit wrong with me that you would just want to do that by yourself first, yeah. this was a, the big moment. And, uh, like you, uh, you, you took that first. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if we're going like, to even include this, but I, I just I think I was just freaking out and being like, I want to know if this is crazy. And it was like 3 o'clock in the morning exactly. And so I was like, I don't know if there's ever going to be another time that we're not going to be like doing some other event or like... Um, I mean, I just wish you, like, even if I was asleep, like, it would be nice for you to be like, hey, I'm going to do this by myself. Like, I just want to know, but honestly, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But. Yeah, it's, it's just uh, this has just been such like a crazy uh, week, but I, I get it. Like especially uh, for the video and stuff, probably should have waited for the whole group to come down or to see you and I. Like I didn't even I didn't even do it for the camera or anything. I feel you. It's all good. Dave, the trickster, Abigail, whoever's down here, we're gonna be doing SS method, and we also believe this is the easiest way of communication. A do idea before we do the Estes method. What the fuck was that? They're gone. 
If that was you knocking... I don't know, it just felt like someone was grabbing my foot. Um, foot? Yeah, it was like hard to... Okay, I'm not... Oh fuck, there's something on me. What? For sure there's something on me. What is it? Like oh, a no. bug or a tick? It was a fucking tick! Oh god! I knew there was something on me! Shit, man, that is so gross, dude. I hate ticks. Go in the well! Speaking of the well, a lot of the things that we've gotten and a lot of things that we've talked about is the water could be the catalyst for activity. The original well, that is a, a portal. That's one of the theories that that is a portal. You literally said that and it splashed. <laughs> What if we, kind of like how we did in uh, the Dracula's Castle episode, what if we grab some of the well water and use that to maybe like summon something here? If things are coming from that well, at least maybe that's like a trigger object, you know? Yeah. If that was... Wait, do we this, have anything to get... Dude, this just turned off. As soon as you touch... Dude, see? See? Yeah, it just turned off again. It's not just me. It's not just you. So maybe it was a warning not to do that. Are we still gonna do it? You're not going anywhere! You get it? Yeah, I'm going to go forward a little bit. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh! Explore merch down below. <laughs> Shit, dude, I just ruined everything. It was well worth it. Get it? This looks oddly familiar. Literally learned the Estes method in this house two and a half years ago. Let's figure out who's trying to fuck with us. Weird full circle moment. Yeah, so as a recap real quick, Dave is the soldier. He's been following us for like four days. For four days. But we initially talked to him with the Estes method out in the backyard, and then he followed us to the woods by the campsite. He was upstairs with us, and then he also was with us at the graveyard just now. Hopefully Abigail is still here and guide us in the right direction. Please, Abigail, let's figure this out. You see it. Reason. Yeah, we're trying to figure out the reason why you like us so much. Why do you want us out into the woods? Works. What do you want with us? Sex. Are you just talking with us? Are you the trickster spirit? Me. Can you give us a name? Okay. Are you a soldier? Run. What do you want us to run from? Unless this is Abigail again warning us. Is something dangerous? Injury. Science? Us. Fall. Do you want to hurt us? Friendly. Okay, so you're friendly. Is this Abigail? Are you trying to lead us somewhere else? Stone. A lot of stones around here. Stab. It's a knife in a graveyard. He had to go. Are you a murderer? James. James. A soldier from a secret grave. James, is this you? You're talking with yes. us? Okay, thank you. Who is this man from the woods that we keep hearing about? Here. James thinks the man from the woods is here. He's pointing fingers. What does he want with us? Rule? He wants to control this area? Is the man from the woods actually powerful, or is he just tricking us? James, can you answer? Is he just talking with us? Yes. He's not actually going to hurt us, right? Nothing can happen? Future? Use. But he can use us? Help. James, you need help? How can we help you? Tell us how we can help, actually, this time. Water? Is that how you get your power? We have a little of the well water right here. You. Are, are both James and the man from the woods still here? Yes. Oh. Dave? Dave? Are there three people now? James, Dave, the man from the woods? Fool. I'm back. Back as if he's been talking with us. Man from the woods, have you been with us this entire time? You? Yeah, have you been with me and Colby this entire time? Woods. Us. Us in the woods. We were all in the woods. In? We were all in the woods. Man from the woods, what is your name? Yeah. Me. Yeah. You I did. am. Are you? Have you been? Hello? Hello. Have you been with us the whole time? Are you Dave? No. It's me. Fuck. No, but it's me. Moon. Dave, are you a soldier? Answer me. Who are you, Dave? Don't. You've been following us for four or five days. Again. Why don't you want to tell us who you are? Yours, friend. You want to be our friend? Happy. Okay. You like when we come talk to you, Dave? 
lake. Turn around. Are you? Are you going behind us? Unlock. Unlock. That's what okay. sit on the door. Is the person down here right now the person that locked the door on us two years ago? What? Do you remember us? We were here two yes. years ago. So were you the person? Yeah. Fucking hell. Here, this. Are you calling friend? This friend was the one that locked us in the basement two years ago. Is this friend of ours? This happy friend? The same person as the man from the woods? Are you the one calling us to the woods? Yeah. Smile. Hey, 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 hey. I actually think this thing that's been following us the entire time, Dave, mm -hmm. is the man from the woods. I don't think Dave is a soldier. Wait, why do you say that? Because I, I asked and he was like, I am your friend, but I'm also the same friend who locked you down here two years ago. I said the same thing, unlock the door as if it locked again. I thought there were three people. James, you said, Dave, you said, and man in the woods we were talking to. But I don't think there was three people. It was only two, James and Dave. So one of them has to be the man from the woods because someone was fucking with us. Like, oh yeah, I just want to be your happy friend. I, I, I'm the one that's calling you back here. I'm the one that's locking you in the basement. But Dave was the soldier because when we talked to him about the SS method, like he was the one that came from underground. I just, I asked him if he was a soldier. He ignored the question. Wait, so you're saying he's been the one that's been stalking us since day one? It makes sense. Think about it. Right after it said attack, the only other name we heard was Dave. When we were upstairs, that's when we heard Dave again. And that's also when we had Abigail said, you got to realize the woods are dangerous. And then we went to the woods tonight, and that's when we also heard Dave again. I don't want to know anything about the history. What if, when it said underground, when we first did that SS method outside, it didn't mean the graves, but it meant underground, like in the basement? Oh, you, we weren't talking to a soldier at all. We were talking to whatever, I had literal goosebumps. We were talking to Dave down here. Oh my god, yeah, that's why he was probably like, because I heard him say fool, or somebody said fool at some point. Mm hmm. That was right after you said friend. It was like he's fucking with us again. So James was trying to tell us that it was Dave all along. What if that's what Abigail was saying as well? Realize, realize, realize. Oh my god! As if like we weren't realizing that Dave was there the entire fucking time. And the only two places that Abigail will go but she doesn't like to go are the basement and the woods. It would make sense that that would be the same sort of entity. I'm sure there's other stuff out in the woods, but... Well, who the fuck is Dave? How did he talk to us by the graves? I guess, like, how do they travel through? He was saying something about the water. Maybe there's, like, water throughout the woods. This entire place, actually, the owner said this entire place was, like, some sort of aquifer. I mean, there's rivers everywhere, too. Like, it's, this entire land, like, all the land is charged. I just, I just don't understand what he wants. If he's just a trickster, why does he want us out in the woods? And why does he make... find out. I have no idea. But also, let's check if he locked the door one more time. The door's wide open. Well, that's also bizarre too. I thought we closed the door. Oh, we went up and got the water cup. Oh. Uh, okay. You know what I just realized too? What? When we first came to the basement yesterday, we did a ritual where we were saying soldier, soldier, soldier. What if that was just instantly telling like the trickster as well? Like that we were trusting the soldiers too much. Just like, no, duh, he's gonna act like a soldier to get up our good side. Wait. The first day we did an investigation right here with Amanda, we opened the basement door and something came up and hit the rim pod. So maybe it was, we let out Dave, the trickster from the basement, and then ever since then, he's been following us. He was in that room, and then when we left, he get, what was that? What was that? It was like a knock on the front door. Something literally tapped the door. Ready? Yeah. Okay. See how loud that is, guys? See? Two. two. There's still two of you here? I believe we were just talking yeah. to James and Dave. Out. Where do you want us to go? Every single time I talk, it's just talking over me. Dave, are you with me? Here. Why do you want us to go to the woods so bad? Are you more powerful in the woods? You old girl, Abigail. He would, the trickster or Dave would think that Abigail is evil. Dead. Dave, I need you to be clear with me. Why do you want us to go to the woods? Down, person. Blame. So there's other people down there as well. Is that what you're saying? Other spirits that you know? Seven. We can get seven all of them. Line them up. Are these seven spirits dangerous? Who are these seven spirits? Who are these seven spirits in the woods with you? Are they other earthbound spirits, possibly? With you. There's seven spirits with you now. Basement. We'll be with you. Oh, seven spirits here. Do you have a plan to do something to us if we go to the woods? 
Soaked. Why didn't you scare us when we were there earlier tonight? Was that you making noises in the woods? Were you trying to scare us? Find out. It's the same thing it said yesterday. Come find out. Dave, what are you gonna do if we go out there? I promise. What's gonna happen? Trauma. You might only stone. Stone. I said stone as well. I wonder if they just have more energy in the woods because there's just more water. There's more ways to get energy out there. But in here, we're surrounded by stone. You said you would attack us earlier. Why didn't you try to scare us in a crazier way if we were out in the woods? You said come find out, and we did. Plan. He has like a gang of friends out there. They're planning on doing something that's going to cause us trauma. That's what I'm getting. Dave, we know that you have no power over us and that you're just trying to scare us. It's time. I can sense. When is that plan going to happen? What would make us want to come back there if you're telling us that you're going to attack us? Pause. Dave, I have a question. Were you the one we were talking to two years ago? Were you you're scared. You're scared. We were terrified. Don't record. So Tori had explained to Abigail what the camera was, but he already knows, which means it would make sense that he remembers us from two years ago. Dave, did you call yourself Beezlebub last time we I met dare you? you? I like you. At this point, we just know you're trying to get on our good side, so it's not gonna work. Family. Do you do this for a specific reason? Play like games with people? Heaven. Heaven. Cause he can't get to heaven maybe? He stays here? Do you get power from scaring people? Come in. It's the same thing. He's not answering any questions, just down to the woods. Alone. Oh, that makes so much sense because the owner said the best way when we were interviewing her, the best way to get evidence is being alone, being isolated. It's just like, like, why would we go out there if like he's saying this all right now? It makes no sense. Thank you. Why are you acting like that? Dude, what are you doing? Uh, it felt like this. It, it felt like someone was like leaning in like this and pushing me down the entire Your time. Your legs were shaking. Dude, I stopped it mostly just because I wanted to see like what you were doing. I don't think I've ever felt like an SS method like that. I don't know. Was I? like? It literally felt like the entire time my head was just turning. You were just getting more. pressure? I was getting pressure. It was your legs that was freaking me out because you were just like starting to twitch and like that's it looked like you were uncomfortable. I, that's what I'm saying. It felt like the Zach Bagans thing. Like my, uh, my legs were like tensing up as if like I needed to like move or I'd get up. It's like fucking weird. Again, this it just turned off twice in a row, right when I grabbed let's it. Let's see it. Okay, let's. Three, three times it turns off. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's just grab the stuff. Like, should we bring the water? Sure, let's bring the water. Okay, dude, I'm holding it with my left hand because I'm holding this and it's still turned off. What is going on? What's fucking happening? Guys, look, look. Boom. It's just turning off. Boom. Oh, I'm I'm off. I promise you. Look, it's I'm not even touching anything. Watch. Are you going to do it again? Turn off the camera. Dude, I just don't think we should fuck with it like that. That, that. that was five times in a row. You saw, you got that, right? Yeah, yeah. That last I, one? Yeah, I got, I got it. Five times in a row. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so. What the actual fuck is going on? It's not working at all. I'm going to like, I'm going to put this. Look. It's not us. We film with this camera all the time for everything. This is like a $3,000 camera. It's not just gonna turn off by itself. Okay, well, it's not doing it anymore. I'm gonna, let's just see real quick. It was saying the same narrative. Go to the woods, go to the woods, go to the woods. It said it would cause trauma if we did it. So I said, all right, well, we were just in the woods earlier. To whoa, 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 Dude, that just, what the fuck? So that killed the light too? The light's it's dead. It Wait, off. let me take this off. It's just Why out of battery off? dead. Dude, this is a new thing just for this Estes method. This is a new light, remember? The last one died. So that just yes. drained all of our batteries. Drained all of our batteries and what? We've been we've been doing that for what, like 30 minutes max? And shutting off the camera 20 times? This is the second light that has gone in one day. Let's go outside. Okay, 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 okay. 
something like is trying in the graveyard to delete the footage, which is exactly what happened with the Warrens as well. Wait, wait, wait. I think I remember something about stop recording or, or don't record. stop recording. He said alone at one point. No alone. Yeah. Oh my god! 5.15 a.m. It said that the three like, girls' beds shake. It's 2 a.m. on the dot right now, so we're gonna get three hours of sleep real quick. Gonna see if it shakes. If it doesn't, we're probably gonna go back to sleep. You have a nice AC, you have fingerprints on the wall, you have doors that close, I have a staircase, dolls, the birthing room, it's 45 degrees. Dude, I think I would have rather had this room. Oh, well, maybe I lucked out. We'll see whose bed shakes at 515. Oh my god, this is how it's gonna be. I'm gonna be fucked up. Actually, this is pitch black. Okay, okay that's to this camera. See, it's like super dark. <laughs> no, you can't see anything. Literally, there's nothing. I'm dead. Okay, so. What the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Film this. What's going on with the screen? It's is it because I'm pointing the, the cam at the cam? Dude, no. I don't know what's going on. Is it taking the battery from this too? Wait, this is not good, dude. I have to sleep in here and it's literally destroying our camera right now. That's the fun game of Hadra. <laughs> Send me on my way. Every single day in the early 1970s, 5.15 a.m. right now, beds would shake violently. But I'm not seeing anything right now. Grave digger, grave digger, bring me to my knees. Hey. What's up, dude? Is your bed shaking violently? My bed is not shaking violently. This light's so fucking dead. That should not be dead. Wait, really? That's the new light. Then it's broken. I don't know if the bed shaking is working, but something is still draining all batteries. Okay, well I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And I will see you all in the next video. Be confident, be strong. Be confident, be strong, and be young. Peace. Oh, you know what, get in my lane. Just give me the time and give me the place. Taking a name and no one can stop me. I ain't afraid I'm going it right.